Good morning class. Welcome to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have started learning about decimal numbers. We know that a decimal number has a whole number part, a decimal point and a decimal or fractional part. Today we will see the pictorial representation of a decimal number. Now look at this question given here. Represent 2.78 pictorially. So you have this decimal number here 2.78. How do you read this? After the decimal point you have to read the digits one by one. So it's 2.78 and this in this number 2.78 2 means two whole parts. The whole number part is the digit 2 and you have the decimal point here and after the decimal point you see the fraction or the decimal part and the digit 7 the digit 7 is in the one tenths or tenths place and the digit 8 is in the hundredths place so what is the place value of these digits after the decimal point the place value of 7 in this number is 7 tenths or 7 by 10 or 0.7 and the place value of 8 here is 8 hundredths or 8 by 100. Clear? Now let's see how we can represent this number pictorially. So you have two whole parts and a decimal part, right? A fractional part. So how do you represent a whole part? You see this box here. Here one unit is divided into 10 rows and 10 columns. So you have a total of 100 subdivisions here. So, or 100 subunits and each unit in this part represents a fraction of 1 by 100. Why? Because count the boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 rows into 10 columns and you have how many smaller units? 100 units and each unit will represent a fraction of 1 by 100. Clear? So you have all the 100 subunits here which makes up one whole. And what was our number? Our number was 2.78. So to represent the whole number part which is the digit 2, we have to take 2 whole units. And then you have the decimal part. 7 tenths and 8 hundredths. So when you divide the box like this, each part represents or each subunit here represents 1 by 100. So how do you represent 7 by 10? See, you have 10 columns and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 rows taken here and like we said before, each unit represents 1 by 100. And how many columns are we considering? We are considering 10 columns. So it is 1 by 100, 2 by 100, 3 by 100, 4 by 100, 5 by 100. Like that, this will be 10 by 100, right? So one row will be equal to 10 by 100. And you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 such rows. So this would be equal to this 10 by 100 into 7 rows, which is equal to 10 and 100. We can reduce 10 and 100 by dividing this numerator and denominator by 10. Both this 10 and 100 are multiples of 10, right? So dividing this by 10 gives you 1. Dividing 100 by 10 gives you 10. So this is 1 by 10 into 7 now. What is 1 by 10 into 7? Is equal to 7 by 10. So this colored part here represents a fraction of 7 by 10 and we had 8 hundredths to represent 8 hundredths how do you color the boxes so like we said before each of these smaller boxes represent 1 by 100 so you have 1 by 100 2 by 100 3 by 100 4 by 100 5 by 100 6 by 100 7 by 100 and 8 by 100 so this is how you represent 8 hundredths or 8 by 100 so you have two whole parts and a 7 tenths and 
800 and this picture is equal to the decimal number 2.78. Hope this is clear to you. Let's see one more example. Represent 1.52 pictorially. So in the decimal number 1.52, what is the whole number part? The whole number part is 1 and the decimal part is 5 tenths and 2 hundredths. See, one whole part and we have 5 tenths and 2 hundredths. So to represent the number 1.52, let's first represent the whole number part which is 1. So we have one whole here. Now we have to represent the tenths part, the 5 tenths or 5 by 10. How do we represent it? See when you divide the box into 100 smaller units, each unit or each small box represents a fraction of 1 by 100. So like we said before in the previous example, one row represents a fraction of 10 by 100. Clear? Why? It's 1 by 100, 2 by 100, 3 by 100, 4 by 100, 5 by 100, 6 by 100 goes on and one whole row equals 10 by 100. And you have how many such rows here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 10 by, one row is 10 by 100 into 5 such rows. So cancelling out the common factors, it is 1 by 10 into 5, which is equal to 5 by 10. So here we have represented 5 by 10 and 2 by 100. How many boxes do you have to color? 2 boxes. 1 box means it's 1 by 100. 2 boxes mean it is 2 by 100. Hope this is clear to you now. Now we have seen how to represent decimal numbers pictorially. Now let's see how we can write decimal numbers. Before we move into that, let's see the place value chart for a decimal number once again. So here you have the place value chart. See, you have the decimal point and to the left of the decimal point, you have ones, tens, hundreds and it goes on. The place value increases. And to the right of the decimal point, we have one tens, hundreds, thousands and it goes on like that and it decreases as you move towards the right of the decimal point. The decimal point separates the whole number part and the decimal part. There is a number represented in the place value chart, a decimal number 345.213. In 345, which is the whole number part, you have 5 ones, 4 tens and 3 hundreds. And with the decimal part, you have 213, which is 2 tens, 1 hundreds and 3 thousands. Keep this in your mind, okay? Now, let's see an example of how to write decimal numbers. See the question given here, 20 plus 3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.005. So how do we write this as a decimal numeral? So here you see the whole numbers 20 and 3 and you see two decimal numbers 0 0.3 and 0 0.005. So let's see how we can represent the decimal numbers here as a fraction. See we know 0 0.3 here 3 equals a place value of 3 tenths or 3 into 1 by 10. So we can write 0 0.3 is equal to 3 by 10. And we can write 0 0.005 is equal to 5 by 1000 or 5 thousands. Why? Because the digit 5 here is in the thousandth place. This is the tenths place, hundredth place and this is the thousands place. So we can write 0 0.005 is equal to 5 by 1000. Now let's look into the question again. 20 plus 3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0, 0 sorry 0 0.005 and that is equal to 20 plus 3 it is 23 and in 0 0.3 this 3 has the place value of 3 tenths. So after the decimal point, 
You put the decimal point after the whole number part. 20 plus 3 you did first. So you write that 23 here which is the whole number part. Put the decimal point there. And in the tens place what you have? In the tens place you have 3 or 3 tens. So you write the 3 in the tens place. And in the hundreds place do we have a digit? See it is 3 by 10 plus 5 by 1000. So in the hundreds place we don't have a digit. So what do we do? We put a 0 there. The place value there is 0. Then moving on to the thousands place, we have the digit 5 there which has the place value of 5 thousands. So let's write 5 in the thousands place. Now we have the decimal numeral for the given expanded form. Hope this is clear to you. We'll see more examples. Write the decimal numeral of 700 plus 50 plus 2 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.009. So let's have a look at the whole number part first. The whole numbers are 700 plus 50 plus 2. And the decimal part is 0 0.7 and 0 0.009. So how do we write this? We know this 0 0.7 is equal to 7 by 10. The place value of 7 here is 7 tenths or 7 by 10 and 0 0.009 can be written as 9 by 1000 because the digit 9 is in the thousands place. Now let's rewrite 700 plus 50 plus 2 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.009 that is equal to let's add the whole number part first 700 plus 50 plus 2. 700 plus 50 is equal to 750. 750 plus 2 is equal to 752. So there we have the whole number part here. Now you put the decimal point. Then after the decimal point you have the tens place and which is the digit that comes in the tens place? It is 7 because 7 has the place value of 7 tens. So let's write 7 here and in the hundreds, hundreds place do we have a digit? No. So let's put the place value 0 there. Let's put the digit 0 there and the place value is 0. And in the thousands place you have the digit 9. So we have the decimal numeral now. It is 752.709. Clear? And let's do an activity. All of you please take your notebook and note down this question in your notebook. Write the decimal numeral of 80 plus 5 plus 0 0.03. You pause the video, finish this activity and come back. Hope you have done that question. Now let's discuss the answer. Now our question was 80 plus 5 plus 0 0.03. So which is the whole number part? The whole number part is 80 plus 5. And we have the decimal part 0 0.03 which is equal to 3 by 100. Here the digit 3 is in the hundreds place. So we can rewrite 0 0.03 is equal to 3 by 100. Now let's solve the question. 80 plus 5 it is equal to 85. So the whole number part is done. Put the decimal point there and in the tens place do we have a digit? No. In the tens place we don't have a digit. So let's put 0 over there and in the hundreds place we have the digit 3 which has the place value of 300. So let's put that 3 over here. Now we have the decimal numeral 85.03. I hope you did this correctly. Now children you have to go through the topics pictorial representation of decimals and also writing decimal numerals which is in page number 81 and 82. Then move on to the exercise called try this which is in page number 83. You please complete the question in your notebook. Take a picture and do send us through Teams. So that's all for today children. We will meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.